Super Mario Maker has become an iconic part of Mario's legacy. Taking the biggest platformer in gaming and handing off the keys, allowing anyone to make their own level, it's just an incredible concept. However, one of the things that makes Mario Maker so great is the game's styles. Being able to switch between a bunch of different Mario games, each with their own mechanics, power-ups, and themes is amazing. With Super Mario Maker 2 though, the styles were admittedly a bit disappointing. Having 3D World as an option was great, but seriously, what's up with all this blank space, and why does it say extra game styles when there's literally only one style. It really feels like there should have been more here, at least with added DLC. However, when the next Mario Maker drops, some new styles are definitely in order, so today I'm going to be talking about what new styles we could see in Mario Maker 3. I'm going to be going over a bunch of different Mario games and talking about how they could work in their own style, and how likely I think they are to be included in the next Mario Maker, giving them a rating from 1 to 5. Without further ado, starting off, we have Super Mario Bros. The Lost Level. Frankly, this one just doesn't make any sense, but it is technically a missing Mario game, so I'll include it. The fact is though, this game's engine is just the Super Mario Bros. engine. There are a few new themes and items, like the Super Spring, but the mechanics of this game are identical to Super Mario Bros. If they wanted to add any features from this game, like maybe some kind of wind mechanic, they would just include it in the Super Mario Bros. style, so I'm giving this a likeliness rating of 1 out of 5, it's just not gonna happen. I honestly thought this would have been a shoe in for Super Mario Maker 2. In fact, I still wonder if it was originally planned, because the extra styles is just one of the biggest mysteries on Switch. I would not be shocked if they wanted to make it its own style, but then due to gameplay or other world events that were going on right around the time that this was added, they just decided to include the Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom as an item instead. However, because Super Mario Bros. 2 is just a reskin of an entirely different game, there are a ton of unique items and enemies. Shy Guys, Ostros, Turnips, Potions, there's so much that's completely missing in Mario Maker, and just having an item that gives your character the mechanics of Super Mario Bros. 2 doesn't do the game justice. Mario Maker also doesn't have a lot of boss variety, whereas Super Mario Bros. 2 could introduce several new bosses from that game. They also could give the characters their abilities from that game, so maybe when making a level, you could make it a Luigi level, and everyone that plays on it will have Luigi's higher jump. I would love to see a Super Mario Bros. 2 theme, and I think there's a pretty decent chance they do it, since it's basically the missing NES Mario game. However, with the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom, I would also not be surprised if they just brought that back. So as for how likely it is, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Super Mario Land was a launch title for the Game Boy and it shows. It's basically a step down from the NES titles due to limitations. However, there are a lot of features from this game that are missing from Mario Maker. There are a few new bosses and new enemies, but one of my favorite features from Super Mario Land is the Sky Pop. Being able to fly around in your own little airplane and shoot down enemies? That's sick. And there's even a submarine, which is basically the exact same thing, but underwater. This would be a really interesting style to see. With it being one of the most dated Mario games, they could probably polish up the movement and mechanics like they've done with other styles. I mean, in the original Super Mario Bros, you couldn't even walk left, so a few tweaks in the new Mario Maker versions are definitely not out of the equation. I would love to see some kind of way to adjust the color scheme. Maybe you could swap between the original Game Boy Green and a version that offers full colors. That would be such a great nod to a classic Mario title, but if I'm being honest, I'm not too sure how much incentive there is for them to add this. I mean, the other classic Mario titles are pretty much objectively better since they were made for more powerful hardware, and they've already put the Super Ball Flower, one of this game's only original items in, I don't think anything is stopping them from just putting more parts from this game in other styles. It would also be a fairly simple style to add, so I'm just going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. Super Mario Land 2 is definitely a step up from the original game. If Super Mario Land is the portable equivalent of Super Mario Bros, this is the portable equivalent of Super Mario World. There's an entire world map, way better graphics, and once again, a ton of new enemies and items. This game would also add many new bosses to Mario Maker, having Wario as one of them, weirdly enough, and I definitely wouldn't mind seeing this. One of the coolest parts of Super Mario Land 2 is the game's Space Land, which completely changed the game's gravity mechanics. This being featured in one of the game's themes would be sick. With that being said, I definitely do think it would be weird to include this game without its sequel, and I also don't think they could dedicate two entirely new Mario Land styles to a new Mario Maker. They could just put some of this game's items into other styles, like giving Super Mario World the carrot power-up. I think having this game without Super Mario Land hurts its chances of happening, however it would definitely offer up more than Super Mario Land, so I'm gonna have to give it a 2.5 out of 5.
Next is Wario Land, and the only reason this is even being talked about is because it's technically Super Mario Land 3. In reality though, it was only given that subtitle for marketing purposes, it's completely different from the Mario games. I guess it technically could work because it's a platformer too, but this would basically have to be some sort of side mode like the new funky mode of Mario Maker. Also, the newer Wario Land games are just way better, there's a lot more mechanics added on later in the series that would make it way more fun and help it stand out from the Mario series, so having a Wario Land style that's just the original game would kind of suck in all honesty. I guess this could happen, but frankly, I don't see why it would, so I'm giving it a 1 out of 5. This is the same deal as Wario Land. Technically Super Mario World 2, yada yada marketing purposes, this would probably have to be a side mode once again. But I will say, I think it's more likely for this game to get its own style. Yoshi's Island was one of the best games on the Super Nintendo. The art style is charming, the music is amazing, and the game's entire vibe and presentation is just iconic. The gameplay though is completely different from the Super Mario Bros. franchise, with transformations, crying babies, the ability to throw eggs, and so on, so I don't think it's likely, but I definitely think there's a universe where the next Mario Maker gets some kind of Yoshi's Island Maker mode. I just don't think it's the universe we're living in. This one gets a 2 out of 5. Although to be honest, the troll levels people could make with this, spamming the annoying crying Mario, that would be terrible. Almost as bad as you not being subscribed to Switch Stop. If you're enjoying the content, hit the button. It would help us out a ton. It's free and you can always change your mind. With Super Mario Maker 2, we got the introduction of styles for 3D Mario games with the 3D World style. However, if we're being honest, seeing 3D World in a 2D format was not really too out of pocket. Of all the 3D Mario games, it's arguably the most linear one. You beat levels by touching flagpoles, the power-ups work just like they do in Mario's 2D games, and you even have traditional world maps. A Super Mario 64 style wouldn't be the first 3D Mario style, but it would be something entirely new. Now, we could of course get a 3D Mario Maker game where you can make 3D levels and this game would absolutely need to be its own style if that happened, but realistically, there's already so many terrible creations in the Mario Maker games we have now, I don't think the average Mario Maker player is ready to make the jump into the third dimension. Assuming the next Mario Maker game is still in 2D, could a Super Mario 64 style work? Well, I think it could. You would of course have Mario's moves from that game, like punching, kicking, diving, long jump, triple jump, etc. I mean, punching and kicking in particular would be really interesting, because you're essentially getting two entirely new attacks, which could be used for certain puzzles puzzles, make boss battles more engaging, etc. Instead of warp pipes, I'd also love to see some kind of painting mechanic, where you can jump into a painting and then be teleported to a sub-area. Obviously, this is a reference to all the paintings throughout Peach's Castle, which kind of act as a level select in that game. I think it would make sense, too, for us to get some of the power-ups from 64, like the Metal Cap and Wing Cap. Now, these power-ups are a bit unconventional, because they can only be used for a certain amount of time before going away, but we already have something like this with the Superstar, so it wouldn't feel too out of place. Lastly, I think these levels would have to end with you collecting a power star, just like in Super Mario 64. A flagpole just makes no sense for this game, but do I think a 64 style is likely? Honestly, I think there's a decent chance. The 3D World style is really cool, and seeing some more conventional 3D games represented in a 2D level maker could be a huge selling point for another Mario Maker game. I'm giving this a 3.5 out of 5 chance. This style would have to be essentially entirely centered around Flood. You would start each level with Flood having both the Squirt Nozzle and the Hover Nozzle. Then you could collect other nozzles within a level, like the Turbo or Rocket Nozzles. You could even have a sub-area like the secret levels in Sunshine where Flood gets taken away and you have to complete the sub-area without him. Now, something I didn't mention when talking about 64 is how taking damage would work. In these games, instead of traditional power-ups, you have a health meter, which happens to go down as you take damage and go up when you collect coins. I think if we got more 3D games as a style, they would probably just use the meter from Super Mario Galaxy, which lets you take three hits. Then, if you wanted to make a level more difficult, you would make coins more scarce, so it's harder to recharge your health. They could even let you pick the size of the meter, so you can make a level where the player can only take one hit, kind of like the Daredevil Comets from Galaxy. It would definitely be different from your typical 2D Mario experience, but it would still work regardless. Anyway, how likely is a Super Mario Sunshine style? Well, while the flood mechanics would be cool, Mario Sunshine has always kind of been the black sheep of the 3D Mario franchise. It's definitely not as iconic as a game like Super Mario 64, so while it is possible we'd get this style, especially if they introduce more 3D games, I don't think it's as much of a priority as some other games for Nintendo, so I'm gonna give it a 2.5 rating.
I'm just going to say this for not only this game, but all the other New Super Mario Bros. games. This one having its own style is a bit silly. The New Super Mario Bros. U style is pretty much identical to how this would work, and any differences are just too subtle. There's really no way to justify this being separate. Even items that are exclusive to New Super Mario Bros. DS, like the Blue Shell and Mega Mushroom that are technically not in New Super Mario Bros. U, they could just be in the current New Soup style we have and no one would care. I guess when comparing New Soup games to something like the Lost Levels, there are a few more unique features like each game has. For instance, New Super Mario Bros. 2 could have a style that has additional mechanics based around coins. So it is technically possible, but realistically, uh, yeah, no, not happening. What I could see though is maybe for Mario Maker 3, they drop the U from the New Super Mario Bros. U style and it just kind of becomes the all-encompassing New Super Mario Bros. style. That way they can add in every power-up from every New Super Mario Bros. game and no one would, you know, really bat an eye. However, actually getting a specific New Super Mario Bros. DS style, I'm giving it a 1.5 out of 5 on the likelihood scale. It's technically possible, not gonna happen. This would be awesome. Mario Galaxy is already more linear than some of the more open sandbox style 3D Mario games, so I don't think it would have too much trouble translating into a 2D format. A Mario Galaxy style would absolutely need some kind of gravity mechanic. Like maybe hitting a flip switch could allow you to walk on walls and ceilings, and you could add little planets into the level that would let you walk in circles while standing on them. Another part of Galaxy that would be integral to this style is the spin. Being able to perform spin attacks on enemies, boost yourself upwards while in the air, and fling yourself across the level with a launch star would be so sick. Maybe they could even add some sort of star bit mechanic where collecting star bits will let you shoot them at enemies and objects. Or you encounter a hungry luma. Give the hungry luma your star bits to uh, get a power up or maybe even unlock a sub area in the level. A Super Mario Galaxy style could lead to the most creative levels in Mario Maker. I don't know if that's a hot take, that's just how I feel. This would be so cool. Not to mention Galaxy has some of the greatest music and atmosphere in any video game, which is why it would be perfect to be its own theme. If they did more 3D Mario games in their own style, this one is a must have. So I'm gonna give it another 3.5 rating, just like Super Mario 64. Here we have pretty much the same deal we had with the Lost Levels. Galaxy 2 uses the same engine as Super Mario Galaxy. In fact, the game was originally planned to be DLC, so anything that would be added to a Galaxy 2 style could just easily be included with the Galaxy style. One thing I always thought Galaxy 2 handled way better than Galaxy is its power-ups. If we did get a Galaxy style, items like the Cloud Flower, Spin Drill, and various Yoshi fruits are a necessity. At the end of the day though, there's no way both these games get their own styles. Galaxy 2 gets a 2 out of 5. The only reason it's not a 1 is because I could see them calling the style Super Mario Galaxy 2 when it's really just both Galaxy games combined. With Super Mario 3D Land, there's the same issue once again. There's not much incentive for them to make an entirely new 3D Land style because 3D World style already exists. Even if they added some parts from 3D Land into the 3D World style, there's really not that much that they could add. I mean, basically every power-up from 3D Land is in 3D World, so maybe we could get new enemies and gizmos. Like having an inky piranha plant that could spit out ink from the background and cover your screen, that could be pretty neat. When it comes to getting its own style though, I guess 3D Land style could add a few new themes and new music, but is that really worth it. I'm giving this one a one and a half out of five rating. The only way I could see this happening is if Nintendo just went all out with a bunch of new styles for the next Mario Maker and ended up throwing in 3D Land for the hell of it. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is one of the best games from the Wii U. It isn't even a Mario game, but it got its start in 3D World. It's pretty much just a bunch of Mario levels, but you can't jump. What if they took this mechanic and allowed you to make Captain Toad levels in the 3D World style? You can select the Captain Toad mode, then your ability to jump gets taken away. The game's flagpoles are replaced by stars, and the gems are added as a collectible. They could even include that game's power-up like the Super Pickaxe and Turnups. Captain Toad definitely wouldn't get its own style, but it would be really nice to have it as a fun option for 3D World. They'll give it Captain Captain Toad's side mode a 2.5 out of 5 chance. It wouldn't be a major priority, but it wouldn't take much effort to make. It would also just be really fun. No, just no. I love this game, and no. I mean, yeah, no. A Super Mario Odyssey style could be the coolest style in the game. You would have Mario's moveset from that game, from diving to rolling to throwing and bouncing off Cappy, and the style's themes could be taken directly from the game's kingdoms. The sickest thing about an Odyssey style, however, obviously would be the capture mechanic. This is a must-have. Being able to capture enemies and objects in a 2D format would be insanely cool. Mario Odyssey already has 52 captures, and they could even add more for Mario Maker 3. Including Mario Odyssey as a style, this would be a major selling point for the next game. The capture mechanic would 
completely revolutionize Mario Maker, and if we're being honest, a new sequel would need some kind of huge new feature like this to shake up the format. However, on top of Odyssey being a fairly recent Mario title, incorporating a capture mechanic would probably take a lot of effort. I still think there's a lot of incentive for them to include an Odyssey style, but with the amount of effort it would take, it's not a guarantee by any means. I'll give it a 3.5 out of 5. Bowser's Fury is a weird one, because while it's basically its own game, so much of its identity is tied to 3D World. With Bowser's Fury not even getting a standalone release, can we really expect it to get a standalone style? Especially with the game it was bundled in with, 3D World already having one. Well, I think it makes way more sense to pair this with the 3D World style. A lot of the styles in Mario Maker 2 give you the option to turn on Night Mode, which depending on the theme completely changes the gameplay. However, 3D World style never got this. What if instead of that, you could turn on a Bowser's Fury mode? They could include parts of Bowser's Fury like the cat that roam around, the cat shines, and all sorts of gizmos, but the big gimmick of Bowser's Fury would have to be Fury Bowser. Fury Bowser would activate after a certain number of seconds just like in Bowser's Fury, or maybe they could add some sort of Fury Bowser on-off switch that could be used for really interesting puzzles. There's a ton they could do with this, I mean even taking just from Bowser's Fury, you have to use Fury Bowser to break certain blocks which then reveals certain shines and whatnot. I don't see a standalone style for Bowser's Fury happening, but this kinda night mode alternative for 3D World is definitely possible, I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Lastly, we have Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Mario Wonder would be incredible to see in a new Mario Maker. I mean, imagine being able to make levels centered around various wonder effects. That would easily make this the most creative Mario Maker game by far, and it's such a cool mechanic. Not to mention Mario Wonder has some amazing power-ups like the drill mushroom and elephant fruit, new level elements like these zipline platforms would be perfect for gizmos, and this game probably has more new enemies than any other 2D Mario game. You might think it's too early, but keep in mind, a new Super Mario Bros. U was only released a couple years before for the first Mario Maker, and that was a style in that game, I see no reason why Mario Wonder shouldn't be a style in the next Mario Maker game. In fact, that game is one of the reasons why I think they'll continue to make Mario Maker games. There's just so much more they can add now because of Wonder. Of all the styles mentioned in this video, I think this is the most likely to happen. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 likelihood rating, because it's not a guarantee, but it just makes so much sense. If this is not in the next Mario Maker, I'd be genuinely shocked. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, check this one out, where I made one big change to every Mario game on Switch. Yep, Mario Kart, Mario Maker, 3D Mario, 2D Mario, every Mario game on Switch. I gave one change to make so much better. It's one of my favorite videos I've ever posted, so check it out here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Thomas from the Switch Stop, signing off. Peace.